I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart, and this is Mwenzi, and today we're going to answer the question that almost everyone asks when they hear I have a porcupine, and that is, do they shoot their quills? And then the next question is, if their quills fall out, can you use them as darts? Stay tuned, and we're going to answer both of those questions with the help of Mwenzi. First, we're gonna take a look at porcupine quills and possibly how this myth started. So we're gonna start with the longest quills. These are going to be known as guard hairs. And if you measure this, it is about 20 inches long. So these are gonna be the porcupine's longest hairs. And that's what Mwenzi is going to use to be able to feel something coming up behind her. And then she has smaller hairs that are a little bit more coarse, more hair-like, similar to your hair, uh, but again, a little bit more coarse. And then you'll see different lengths. They start to get a little straighter, a little stouter. Uh, and then we get to some of the big quills, the ones that they use uh, really to be able to quill things. And if they could shoot them, again, which porcupines cannot, they would use quills similar to this but they come in all shapes, sizes. You can see in these boxes, in a little less than a year, these are all of the quills that both Kibo and Mwenzi have lost naturally. Just like you lose hair, they lose their quills. Not painful, they'll just drop them randomly, I'll find them in their pen and pick them up. But let's just say they could shoot their quills. What would that look like? Well, we have this great resource that I use, the porcupines. The, Amer uh, the animal answer guide to be able to help us out. So if we look through here, they're going to tell us about does a porcupine throw its quills and how did it get started? Zoom into this page right here. We have the royal crest of Louis XII of France to be able to think. You can see that there's a crested porcupine just like Mwenzi and Kibo, and you can see all of these quills that they are shooting. So how did that come about? Basically, Louis XII said, I want this to be part of my royal crest, and they depicted a porcupine throwing its quills everywhere. And if you have enemies, who wouldn't want someone who it looks like quills are going everywhere, and you can attack them from far away and up close. So thank you, France and Louis XII, for starting this myth, as well as Hollywood for allowing it to continue. So let's look at these quills again. So in order for something to fly, you need momentum. Momentum is made up of acceleration, velocity. Let's go velocity and mass. These things are as light as a feather because if you crack them in half, it looks like your fingernail or styrofoam. That's what they look like inside. So super, super light. They will actually float. You can check out my swimming with a porcupine video as well. So because they have no mass to them, it's unlikely that they will fly. That is why when they shot arrows, they would attach arrowheads to them to add weight. So I'm going to go show you what these would look like if a porcupine could shoot them. Sorry, no. Phil. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't have much, so it's okay. So we're gonna see how straight they fly as well as if you could use this to be able to play darts. So let's see how they fly. All right, so can we use these quills to be able to play darts? Mwenzi, what do you think, sweetie? Is it going to work? She is like, no, mom, it is not going to work. So if I take this and I use it, I'm gonna shoot it in the beach here. So watch from behind me and you're gonna see I'm using a lot of force, right? And that is how it is going to fly. Now a porcupine would have to have a lot of force to be able to make this fly. I'm using a lot and that's about as far as I can get it to go, right? So if a porcupine could shoot it, they would need all of that force. And you're like, but I've seen it go pretty deep. It can get deep into whatever it's, it's going into. Well, if it goes deep, that's not because they're shooting it. It's because it's on their tail and that tail can move super fast and has a lot of force that adds to the momentum. So alone, it is not shooting it. So let's grab these quills. 
and you could see as I was throwing them, A, they didn't go super far, and B, they didn't really fly all of that straight. So let's bring it over to our dartboard. Let's check out our dartboard. Hi, there's Mo Lindsay. Would you mind if we play darts with your quills? So I have the quills here, and let's just go ahead and compare them. Mo Lindsay, would you like to compare them to the darts? She's like, I don't know what's going on. So if we compare them, you can see that darts have weight on the end. So that big key piece that quills are missing, as well as a directional arrow, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these and compare the difference. Lindsay, we're gonna throw them at you. You can't throw quills at us, so I'm gonna throw it, not at you, of course, but in your general direction. So I'm pretty close to this, right? If you're playing darts, you're gonna be a lot further. But to demonstrate, we'll see how bad of a shot I am, right? You can see, pretty consistent, you can see that those are gonna stick pretty well. I'm gonna throw these the same way, and you can see they don't have an arrow on them, so it makes it pretty hard. It could be that I'm a bad shot. I did get one to stick earlier. The closer I get, the better I found it to be, and you can see that I can get it to stick. But this distance isn't going to be very helpful, so I suppose you probably could modify these to add a little bit of weight and a little bit of directional arrow, and they might work pretty well as darts. Something, who knows, maybe we'll try one day. But for now, if you're looking at darts, if you're looking at porcupines shooting their quills, the answer is porcupines cannot shoot their quills, and I hope this answered why. If anyone asked you if porcupines shoot quills, now you know the answer. It just is not as effective as something with weight. I'm Rachel, and thanks to Keybone Mwenzi, I hope you feel a little bit more educated about porcupines and their quills.